So the equipment you need for setting up the, the Drago V500, you'll need the hoses, tubing, you need an expiratory valve, an expiratory flow sensor, and a HMA filter, and a bacterial filter, which is one of those. So on the front of the ventilator, you've got the inspiratory valve here, which is non-disposable. You have this little flap that lifts, lifts up and into this part here, you put the expiratory valve. With the expiratory valve, make sure when you've taken it out of the packet that the valve is on the back. If the valve, the valve can drop off and it won't work without it. So make sure the valve is in place. You push it in and then you twist, there's an arrow on the top, you twist it to the right where the arrow is to the locked part. Next thing is you need your expiratory flow sensor. So that pushes into here and then you push it towards the right and it fits into the expiratory flow valve. Pop that down. Onto the expiratory valve, you put a bacterial filter and then you apply the hoses. It doesn't matter which hose goes on to which, they're both exactly the same. And onto this part of the hoses, you put your HME and seal it with the red cap that comes in the packet. So on the front of the ventilator, you've got your on-off button, you've got your power light to say that it's plugged in, and you've got your battery light. If your battery light is green, it means you've got greater than 90% battery. If your battery light is yellow, it could be anywhere between 10 and 90%. So if it's yellow, don't use it if you need to use it on the battery. Make sure it's plugged in. To switch it on, press the green button, hold it for a second or two, and it will turn on and it will do its own internal safety checks. So when you get the standby screen, you need to press new adult for a new patient. You need to confirm it with the rotary knob, otherwise it won't move forward. You get into the standby screen. The first thing that you will need to do is to perform a device and breathing circuit check. It won't let you progress until you perform this check. In order to do this, you press the system check tab on the top and then the device check on the tab on the side and then press start. And it will go through a series of instructions. You need to confirm it pressing the rotary knob again. Do you hear alarm audible? Yes. Are the breathing hoses connected correctly? Have you put them correctly? Are they fitting nicely? Yes, they are. Is the humidifier connected correctly or not used? It's fitted correctly. Yes. Do you want to calibrate the expiratory flow sensors? Yes, we do. Is the expiratory flow sensor fitted correctly? That's this part that you've put in here. If you've pushed it into the expiratory valve, then it's fitted correctly. Do you want to calibrate the neonatal flow sensors? No, because we're not using it for neonates. Now it's asking you to connect the test lung. So take the red cap off and connect the test lung. Confirm with a yes. Do you want to calibrate the internal gas supply sensors? Yes, we do. This will take some time. So when the device fin check is finished, it will then ask you to proceed to the breathing circuit check. Touch yes. Make sure no patient is connected and press start. Confirm it using the rotary knob. It will tell you to connect the breathing circuit, seal the patient connection port and then confirm it. So take the test lung off red cap on the end to seal the patient connection port. Confirm it with OK 
and it will determine the leak in the system. It will then ask you to open the patient connection port and confirm it with OK. And then the breathing circuit check is finished. Once the check is finished, you then need to set it up for ventilation. So go back to your standby screen. What you'll need to do is, is put the patient's height in. You can go up and down using the rotary knob. So if we say 170 centimetres, confirm it with the rotary knob and it will give you your ideal body weight. Select the therapy, which is ventilation. Go to the top tab menu and go to tube non-invasive ventilation and select which you're going to be using. We'll go to tube and confirm it using the rotary knob. You can put the tube type and the tube size in. Um, next you go to the breathing circuit humidifier tab and you need to put which breathing circuit we've got in humidifier. It's always set to other. Once you've finished setting these, go back to your standby screen and then you need to set the ventilation settings that you would like your patient to begin ventilation on. Press the button and it brings up all the settings. Set what you want the patient to be on, close it and then press start ventilation. You have to confirm using the rotary knob. and it will then start your ventilation. If you want to put the machine on standby for any reason, press the standby button in the bottom corner and it will bring up your standby screen. Press standby and confirm with the rotary knob. Reset your alarm and confirm it again. It's now on standby. If you want to start it again, press start ventilation, confirm with the rotary knob. If you're going to disconnect the patient for any reason, then the best way to do it is to use manual disconnection. Press the rotary knob to confirm and it will ask you to disconnect the patient. You must disconnect the patient because you've already stopped the ventilation and that's to stop any spray coming from the ventilator when you disconnect the patient. When you want to reconnect, put your patient back on. Start ventilation.